so I've been experimenting with epoxy granite recipes and here I've got some test pieces that I've made with different recipes so I'm going to test them for rigidity and damping and I'm also going to test these to destruction so you see me doing that I've got eight of them with uh, different different recipes some are quite chunky others fine grain and I've made notes of all the recipes I've used so we'll find out which of these is going to be the strongest so there should be some fun and games trying to snap these so keep watching folks this is one of five moulds I made which are simply fastened down onto this piece of melamine board all of which is heavily greased to aid the releasing process then of course the different recipes are made and put into the moulds each one is allowed about 48 hours to cure then they are taken off this is one of the ones I've tested already of course and it's not complete uh, and to get them out of the mould I made this piece onto which that fits then we simply put this on top and hit it with a big hammer and that's how we get them out here are the dimensions of the mould I used in case you want to make some of these test pieces yourself and compare your results with my results uh, this is the vectric image of the knockout block kilogram point two eight two kilograms point three six Four kilograms, point four seven, five kilograms, point five five. Six kilograms and six five seven kilograms and seven nine. Kilograms point eight eight nine kilograms one millimeter. Mm. 
They are pretty weak. So we'll go on to test them all in a similar manner. This can't break it by hand. The ground. It's going. And this is the last sample and it just happens to be number 13. Wish me luck. One kilogram and it is 0.22 and fail at 11 kilograms fail. And here are all of the test results that are of any significance. Uh, the ones coloured orange are the ones I eventually used in the final mix.